What's up everyone? We are just outside of Bryce Canyon. Just finished a five mile hike and there's a little bit of light left in the day so I thought I would do a quick video about our electric. We've had a few comments on our on our van tour video asking about it so I thought I would uh, share what we've done. Um, thank you guys for watching that video. We just saw that we passed 13,000 views which is awesome. Hope you guys are inspired to build something similar. Um, Sorry about the noise, I'm just outside of the freeway. I have a mic on here, so hopefully it sounds okay. But yeah, let me get to the electric. I also just wanna preface this by saying that I'm not an electrician. I do not know much about electricity. Um, so if you want somebody that does, yeah, just turn this video off now and go watch somebody else. The way we did this is we followed a blog. Um, well, it's kind of a blog, it's a website. Um, and I'll link it down below, but it is super helpful. Um, honestly, wouldn't have been able to do this without that website. Um, so thank you guys so much for putting that website out there. They also have a couple of videos, I think, and I have watched a few other videos, but the reason I'm making this video is that I haven't seen a lot of people do an auxiliary battery on a Toyota Sienna, which is why we did that. Um, that website that we use, we were able to base our decision for electric based on that website because they have a calculator and help you determine like how much power you actually need. Um, do you need solar? How many battery banks do you need? What, like Everything that you need, I think that website will really help. That helped us and that's how we were able to do this. Okay, I really apologize if this is hard to see. It is getting a little bit dark but I will try to run you through what we have in here. Um, so this is our battery. Um, it's the auxiliary battery, which is powered from the starter battery. It is 100 amp hours, 105 amp hours maybe. Um, I'll link that below as well with an Amazon affiliate link. We then have an inverter, um, which I can also link below. And then the last piece that you're not seeing here is the battery isolator, which I will also link below. Okay, so here's the negative terminal. We have a cable that's now running here and it goes right under there. And it is grounded out there. Here's the positive terminal. Um, something you should not do but we did because we ran out of red wire is we just use black wire it, it's the same kind of wire but I would recommend um, measuring out beforehand and getting the proper red wire and black wire because it could be confusing if you haven't looked at the setup but anyway this is positive and it then turns into red there if you can see that I don't know um, it runs under here through here and up into there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me pump the ISO. It then comes through there, down and around, and it attaches to the battery isolator um, then this is also positive again it's black wire even though um, it should be red it's positive there's another fuse here and then it connects to the positive terminal of the starter battery the battery doctor right here the battery isolator there this right here is a ground we've used this as the ground port I will mention that at one point this got loose and it kind of we weren't able to figure out why it the whole system wasn't working but that was the problem so yeah just be mindful of that okay so I'll try to explain now what all these other wires are um, so this wire right here is attaching to the inverter which goes here that's the positive side of the inverter then over here this wire is the negative and goes to the negative these blue wires these are just old um, audio cables that we cut and used, which hook up to the fan. Um, the fan, those wires are run under here, through here, up through here, and across over into the fan. Lastly, we have 
these wires, if you can see that, this, this is what powers our refrigerator. So this, this is attached to the battery. This part is coming from the fridge and run under the carpet all the way back to the fridge. Lastly, on the inverter, we have this little piece of wire which is attached to the ground. I don't know, you can't really see it very well. Um, but it runs also, it runs all the way over here and it grounds out right there, right there. To be honest, I don't know if you actually need that to ground. Um, it, it works without it, um, but it was on the inverter, so I figured why not use it, we might as well, because I, I don't know what would happen if I didn't. Okay, so this is our inverter, which is a Xantrex Pro Watt. It's the base model, and again, this is what we found on um, this website that we used, and it has worked very well. Um, it's We just mounted it on the side here, and as you can see right now, it's powering, like this is a drone port for a drone battery. This is GoPro batteries. Um, this is to a laptop. Okay, so just quickly, I will explain how this battery isolator indicator system works. Um, right now, it's telling you that the circuit is complete and it, everything is working okay, um, but it's also not, there's no energy going from the starter battery to the auxiliary battery, which is what you want. The car is off, the engine is off. You don't want the auxiliary battery to be draining this battery, um, which is the whole point of the isolator in the first place. And then if we turn the car on, now we have a blue light which indicates that it's above 13.3 volts um, which is now making every all the excess energy is going from this battery to the auxiliary battery and that battery is being charged and then if i go inside i can show you our inverter which i can show the reading so it's at 13.3 volts which means it is being charged at the moment otherwise this number if the engine's not on this number will slowly start to drop especially as we charge things usually by morning this number is about 12.4 12.5 somewhere around there um, which is getting close to about 50 percent of the battery a few other things just talking about energy consumption in general we our fridge is definitely the main draw of energy it it will usually last if we park around six o'clock in the afternoon by about 10 or 11 the next day um, if it's warm outside it'll probably kick into like shut off mode um, our fridge will shut off if our battery gets to 50 percent and that's just to save the battery because these batteries you don't want them to get below 50 percent ever um, I guess it damages the battery. I don't really understand it very much, but that's what I've read and so I don't want to damage it. So we've set the fridge to turn off at 50%. One thing we definitely considered when we were doing this and looked into a lot was getting solar, um, just installing it on the roof. We kind of figured we wouldn't need it and the reasons for that is that we drive pretty much every day at least two or three hours. Um, the only time we ever run into issues with battery power is when we actually sit in one spot for a couple days. So for you, you you'll have to determine that for yourself. Are you going to sit in one spot for two, three, four days? You probably want some kind of solar. If not, or just use your starter battery, the power off that. Um, regardless if you have solar or not, I definitely recommend getting this isolator and letting your starter battery charge an auxiliary battery. It's just, I mean, it's just capturing free energy essentially. So that's it for this video. I hope that helped. I hope um, you guys get something out of that. And if you are going to install a similar system, I would highly recommend talking to a mechanic or an electrician or somebody that knows more about electricity than some random guy on YouTube. Um, but anyway, I was able to do it. I know nothing about electricity, um, so I think pretty much anybody could do it. Um, you just have to be patient, read a lot, be very careful, and do, I mean, do as much research as you possibly can um, before actually doing this. 
If you liked that video and you found that helpful um, and you want more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Um, all of our links are below and we will see you later.